Hello everyone, welcome back to the National Education Cycle. I'm your fastie Alex, and for the next OGT Neck session, we're going to be talking about online versus online attraction. So we're not going to go into much detail about how to do different types of online and offline because that's covered in the B2C workshop, and it's more geared towards team leaders and VPs. However, I'm going to describe a little bit about it so you kind of understand what it's all about. So what exactly is attraction? Attraction or attraction marketing refers to the first stage of the customer flow. In here, a young person transforms from a stranger to a visitor or hopefully eventually to a sign up. The aim of attraction is to spark the interest of the customer, inspire the customer with what we do, and make the customer see our product as a possible solution to his or her need. Essentially, attraction deals with getting customers interested in our product by having them sign up. So, offline attraction. Offline attraction is everything to do away from the screen, so in person. So, um, physically. And here are some examples of offline attractions. So stands, boothing, or tabling. Um, that could be at your school. You could set up a stand in and send it by, I don't know, in your cafeteria or, or, a, or a very busy hallway. And you stand it there and you ha you approach EPs and you sell to them on Isaac is and you have them apply or sign up on the spot. Class shouts. You go to the various classes and you do a quick two to three minute, I guess, presentation about Isaac and why they should sign up and then have them sign up if they're interested, of course. Events like career days and walk up. So you, you'd say you're at school or even at a cafe or, or anywhere and you see people sitting in a group, you just go up to them and you approach to them about the idea of Isaac. So there's so many different variations of, of, of an attraction. It's just a matter of being creative and finding which one works best for you. Next is on an attraction. So everything done virtually. Um, so you won't be able to see the customer in person. Uh, online attraction is much more difficult than offline attraction to attract EPs to have them sign up. Uh, but if you're very um, effective and creative with it, you it could also you could also be very successful with it. So uh, here are a few examples: Facebook posts, Facebook ads, mass emailing, sending a bunch of emails to, to EPs, uh, posting on career and job portals, Instagram, radio stations, shout outs, etc. There's so many different ways. You just have to be creative and find which approach works best for you. But like I said, um, this is found in the B2C's neck. Um, and you can find it in the B2C's neck. However, this is, I think, more access towards TOs and VPs, so you may not have access towards it, but it's something that you can find there. So thank you so much for listening, and thank you.